hello viewers uh, this is your host engineer sadaqat ali and you are watching my youtube channel real time simulation world so today in this video i will be telling you how you can uh, create a calculator program uh, using uh, lab view so i'll go to the file section and create a new vi right so i'll go to the window and tile left and right Okay, and first of all, I'll create a while loop because I want to uh, run my code in definite time. So while loop, I will resize a bit. Okay, okay, that's good. And next, I'll create a stop button for it. I'll go to the silver take boolean, then take stop button that's good okay now i will resize a bit okay then uh, 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 next uh, i will uh, uh, move this stop button first of all i will right click on it and view is icon and this will reduce the size of my stop button so it's a good technique if you reduce the size of each of your control uh, it will uh, be a uh, Space saving for you. Okay. Uh, next, what I will do, I will create a, a case uh, structure. I will create a structure. I will right click on the block diagram and go into the structures and then I will select, select case structure. Which is needed to select which function I want to uh, perform addition subtraction multiplication or division right so first of all for my case structure what I need I need four different conditions four different inputs for that I'll right click on the front panel I will create enum so enum is created right now this enum will be wired to the case selector terminal i will right click on this enum and i will click this edit items now a uh, different window will appear now in this window you need to add the number of functions you want to perform so let me add for addition right and then I will write subtraction and then so let me name it completely addition right and then I will add multiplication <clears throat> and last but not the least is division so my first input is subtract addition multiplication and division okay press ok okay now you can see that uh, the four different options are appearing on the enum so this enum will be controlling which case to execute right i will right click on this enum and view as icon which will again save the space <clears throat> okay so currently you see uh, true and false when i connect this enum what uh, you will be seeing you will be seeing different uh, case cases over here so as i connect this you see addition appears so if I uh, click on this, uh, so you see uh, subtract and addition are appearing. Whereas in enum, I have four different uh, inputs. So to, to see other cases, what you need to do is to right click on this and add case after. So multiplication has now appeared. So in order to see division again, you need to see this repeat uh, this process and add case after. So all my uh, cases are now 
appeared on this case structure okay all good now uh, let me resize this enum to see complete uh, function right now i need two controls so let me create numeric control this is my numeric control let me name it as uh, number number a right and let me drag this outside this case structure and let me name view as icon to save the space right and let me create another uh, okay you can copy this you can copy this by uh, pressing control and just dragging it right you can copy in this way in live view just press control and drag it with your mouse okay so number a and number b both are created now i need numeric indicator okay this will be my output so i'll name it as result i will drag it outside this my case structure right so i'll connect this a with the tunnel of case structure and b with the tunnel of case structure and also the result with the tunnel of case structure okay all good connect, connect currently it is showing that you haven't connected anything yet so okay let me first of all perform the subtraction or right click on the block diagram go into the numeric and take subtract okay place it here all good now let me connect it with number a and let me connect it with number b okay all good and i'll connect the output of this subtract with the result okay then i'll select another structure addition okay again i will like right click go to numeric and take add add i'll place it here and i'll connect the two inputs first of all number a and then i will connect number b okay all good and the output with result okay then i'll again select another case you see my run button is broken which means that i haven't wired other cases so let me uh, connect or wired the multiply multiplication case so this is my multiplication case all good and then number b okay all good and i will connect the output of this with the All good. And last but not the least is division. So let me connect this division block. Okay, let me take and uh, with number A and then with number B. All good. And the output of this I'll connect with number the the result. Sorry. Okay, all good. You see my run button is now cleared. So I will, what I will do, I will take uh, some some decorations uh, to complete my front panel to give it a, a good look. I will resize this into. Now all my controls and indicators are behind this, so I need to move this backside and bring my controls and indicator in the front. So I'll click on this and go into this option and press move to back so now all my controls and indicators are ahead of this now i will resize a bit and uh, then i uh, let me name it as a calculator program right uh, you can you can basically increase the size of this by clicking on this and going to the size and then select 38 good you can bold this as well go to the style and fold you can also change the color of this text 
going into the color option and then select this color now you can move this and place it here okay all good now you can again go into the decoration and select this flat frame and put it over here and you can resize it putting your controls indicator in one frame now this looks good right so okay the program is ready right let me enter here 10 and let me enter here 5 okay okay let me run this code now this program is running and for 10 minus 5 is 5 you are getting subtract as 5 all good let me select addition okay 10 plus 5 is 15 your code is properly performing addition and for multiplication 10 into 5 is equal to 50 so this is also good and for division 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 right so let me name this enum as select uh, not my friend but uh, select function okay select function is good select function is good so this is your complete calculator program using lab view you can add another functions you can suggest into the comments so that so that i can add another functionalities like uh, uh, trigonometries like uh, uh, the other functions that are available in any calculator so your program is running very good and you can change your values okay so see you in the next video